it's time for a one well pint accessory giveaway. Look at this. And a review of these shred lights. So huge thanks to the guys at Shred Lights that sent me all these guys to check out. Big thanks for that, guys. And they sent me enough to send you guys a giveaway. So stick around to the end of the video to see how to be a part of the giveaway. <laughs> Screw that. Just all you got to do for the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away some of these Shred Lights here. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video and then shoot me a comment down below something fun about why you want the shred lights or what you're gonna do with them or I don't know make it a fun comment and I'll pick two winners uh, because what they sent me here was I've got these two packs which is the one wheel kit that basically gives you four lights you get the, the ones on the, the two white lights on the front two red lights on the back and mounts for them so I have one of those and then they also sent me this action pack thing here which i haven't tried out yet so they sent me this this clamp guy here that the uh that attaches with this little piece in here that you can then slide a light into like so like that oh and it has that like very satisfying little clip sound you just put that out so you can clamp that onto stuff so that is pretty cool and then you can obviously turn it around clamp it on your shirt or something i don't know if you wanted to so or your backpack i think it's like really made for your backpack you can kind of clamp on a backpack there actually have one of those and i also have a red light too so that'd be the other um giveaway that we'll do so definitely comment down below and you can get uh get that so i mean i really appreciate the guys hitting me up for the shred lights to check these things out i don't know why they reached out to me it could be because they saw my last video where i was up in new york on my one wheel and it got dark and I got to really experience firsthand how the uh, the pint lights work or really kind of don't work. Bust out the flashlight. This is what it looks like without the flashlight. It's something, but it doesn't do much. This is way better. So I love the pint. I think it's an amazing board, but the guys at Future Motion did a really good job making this thing. It's it's really polished. It's a great product, but the headlights on it are just not quite as good as my One Wheel Plus. I mean, I felt like I didn't have to have a flashlight with me in the Plus. I still liked having one, but I didn't have to. The Pint, I kind of feel like I have to have one. I mean, it was, especially on the trails that I was at up there, it was really hard to see without the flashlight. So when they reached out to me and said that they, they would send me these, uh, these lights to check out, I was pretty excited about it, honestly, because I think that was definitely a downside of, um, of the Pint. So anyway, Let's get to the review of these shred lights. So I gotta say the build quality of these little guys is really impressive. I mean, so mine are a little scuffed up because they took a few tumbles already when I was testing them out. You know, they got like a little power adapter in here so you can plug your power cable in. That just kind of seals it up. It's got a power button on either side. So you can just depress this little button here, turn the light on. Has different modes. You can go like high, low, medium, and then flashing, fast, flashing, slow, and then hold it steady to turn it off. So that's pretty cool. And then to mount it, what they sent me was they have a flat mount that mounts on the one wheel. And then so you just stick this on the one wheel and then you just, so you just slide it in until you hear the snap. Oh, I, I just love those little, when they have like a, a really solid click like that. It's a good design. I like that a lot. And you just depress it and then, let me show that again. And when you, ooh, nice snap. <laughs> And you just depress it and then push it out. It snides right out. For any of you that had the old style shred lights, I don't have any with me here, but my original boosted board I purchased used on eBay and it had those on them and I actually ended up taking them off. I'm so sorry guys, I didn't I didn't use them. And that was for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, on the boosted board, they're really low to the ground and it made all the rocks look really big and scary. Um, and so I just didn't feel like it really helped me a lot because of that. And the other reason was they weren't that bright and they were really hard to charge because of the way that they attached to the board. You had this like cover that you had to like undo to like clip over things. And for me, that was just kind of tedious to take them off. I'd forget to take them off and then one would be dead, one would be charged. But they fixed that with this new design. So this just slides right on there. Nice snap on there and it's attached. So you can kind of see what it looks like on the board there. Hangs off the side. And then when you want to take it off, just depress it, pull it right off. It's off. I mean, that's awesome stuff, guys. I'm very, very happy with that. The clip is really works really well. Um, and then so now for me, if I'm riding, 
even if it's kind of low and it's not necessarily the greatest if I'm like off road or something like that and you're seeing big boulders and you can't tell if like a hole is real deep or not, you can always just pop the thing off and now you got a flashlight. You just boop. So I think that's a great redesign. I really, I really like that. Now I will say when I was installing this guy, I did kind of want to put it closer up here, especially on, on this side with the power cable. That was kind of naturally where I wanted to put it. Uh, but this like area here was a little bit too small to make it fit. So I ended up having to put it a little bit further back. But once I've mounted it further back, I really don't mind it, honestly. It, it doesn't really bother me the way it looks once I, once I put it on that way. Yeah, so I can just plunk this one on, snap. And then that's what it, what it looks like with both of them on there. It's pretty cool. So I tested it out a couple times at night. It's bright. It is very bright. So I got to go ride around. I got to, my, my cousin didn't know I was out on the one wheel and then she came in driving down this like really dark, um, not well lit road at all and came up on me and you'd see her reaction when she saw me out there. What up? Hello. Hi, could you see, you could you see me? Um, you looked a little bit like a spaceship. Yeah. Like I said, it really, you gotta, take a picture of them from a distance. Can you, um, like can you hold this off. and just video me? It does, like the lights look like Here. headlights. All the tests I've done have mainly just been with the lights on the brightest, because it's like if you're gonna use it, I mean, make it bright. And I think they're supposed to last about three hours for the white lights on bright. I did some testing with them after I had used them for about an hour and a half, and they still were really bright. But when I turned these lights off and started comparing to the pint, I mean, it's, it's like night and day. I mean, literally, the, the pint stock lights just really don't light up very well at all these things do a great job. Even as low as they are to the ground, for the most part, unless the road is really bad, like the road that I was on, I mean, they have, you know, potholes and divots that were like this big. That's when this thing starts to maybe, you want it a little bit higher up and you might want to take one off, hold it in your hand or put it on your helmet or mount it on the fender. Um, but for most riding, I mean, I think they're gonna be bright enough that just these alone, you, I don't think I'll be needing a, a flashlight in my hand. So I'll end up doing some more testing on like normal streets, not these, you know, kind of rough streets that we have here and just see how that goes over time. But yeah, it's my, the first few tests of them, they've been, been really good and they are crazy bright. From a durability standpoint, this thing feels like it's on there pretty good. I've flipped it over a few times. I mean, the, the lights themselves, the only thing so far that's been scuffed up in you know, like the, the kind of torture chest that I've done is just the area, just like, I don't know if you can see that, like right around the charging, there's, everything else is rubberized, but that, that's a little bit plastic and that has gotten scuffed up. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to turn it around there. Um, maybe if I put it more in the light, you can see it. But I mean, who cares about that, right? That can get scuffed up all day long. I don't really care. Um, and the, the mounts themselves have hung on there. I, I've got them on the sidekicks right here. So it's not mounted directly to the one wheel, it's on the sidekick. I think it's on there pretty good. We'll see how it is, you know, over, over time. But for the first like week that of me riding it, it's, it's, it's done good. Talking to my dad and my wife when they were out there watching me and they did some videoing of me out at night on a really dark night. The, the flashing red ones when you're kind of out off-roading or something like that, or kind of on your own may not be as important if you're not worried about traffic and stuff like that because the regular one wheel red light's pretty bright. If you're in a city though, I think ha the more lights you can have, the better. And I, and I still think it's a good idea to have some like reflector stuff like I have on my backpack um, on you. The more you can do, obviously the better. And then I also have one of these little guys that's really bright too on my on my helmet. Now they, they also make a helmet mount, which I don't have. Uh, they have a couple of different mount options, so what they sent me was the flat mount, which is awesome. Thank you for this, guys. This is really good. They also have a mount that curves that would fit on your fender. So if you wanted to mount one on the fender. And then they also have that same curve one you could use to mount on, on the helmet. And then they have differences where they have this like really hard like 3M stuff, or they also have like a Velcro thing. So you could mount it on the helmet and then rotate it. Um, to kind of angle it however you want. So I haven't tried that out, but I could see that could be a pretty cool option as well. Overall, I mean, the quality of lights is really good. I mean, it's just a really nice, like, kind of flashlight. My wife was even using it as a flashlight when we went on a walk, and she loved it just because, you know, she's small, and having a small hand, is, it's just got this kind of nice rubber feel. It's just like a nice little flashlight, fits in your hand pretty nicely, you know? And hey, it lasts three hours on max, and it lasts for even longer than that if you if you don't have it on max. Oh, and uh, charging them. So I, I definitely was a little bit worried about charging these things, I mean, because, I'm probably more unique from this than everybody else because not everybody else is shooting YouTube videos, but when I shoot these videos, you know, I have my camera and my iPad and then I have mics and all this other stuff and it's a lot of stuff to charge and drones. 
360 cameras and it's just, yeah, I have a problem. But there's four more things here that I've added to charge. So at least they came with like a, these double chargers. So that helps. So you can charge two of them at once. And just the fact that they come off so easy, like that was one thing. I mean, there was honestly a part of me when they sent me these things, I'm like, oh, am I really gonna use them? I mean, it's just if they're a pain to get off, it's just one more thing to charge. But I mean, the fact that they, they come off so easy, I mean, that's that's really not that bad. And, and you, I mean, you could leave them in situ and just have like a longer cable that just plugs right into the side because they can charge right, right, right like that if you wanted to. So overall, that's really good. And the nice thing is when they are charging, they light up red so you can see that they're charging. And then once they're finished charging, they turn green. So that was, that was a good feature too. I was a little worried they weren't gonna know if it was actually charged or not. So I will definitely be using them. So thanks uh, big time guys for sending these to me. And I can't wait to see who ends up uh, getting these. So like I said, there's two different kinds. They've got this, this two pack, which this there'll be two two packs that come with the one wheel kit. And then there will be a two single packs, a white and a red one that come with the like adventure kit that will have this like extra mount thing and stuff. And then you can buy other mounts that they have. They're not that expensive on their on their website um, to check those out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously, you know, you got to get these shred light stickers. I, I like their logo. I think they did a pretty good job with the uh, the logo there. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, so big thanks again to the guys at Shred Lights for sending me these things. I mean, that is awesome. So if you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, I mean, hey, these are some of the perks you get. So get on that and I'd love to see more one wheel content or whatever you're into. And definitely don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below so that I can enter you into the giveaway to maybe get some of these if you're interested in one. Uh, so like I said, I've got the one wheel four pack of lights with all the mounting stuff for that or the adventure pack that's just the two lights and the other mount. So do all that. I can't wait to see the comments and uh, be announcing the winner soon. So thanks a lot, guys. Hope you all are having a good holiday. It's like Thanksgiving time right now. Obviously, Auburn is going to be playing football. Maybe by the time I release this video, we have already played. Hopefully, we'll have beat Alabama. I can only hope. But yeah, it's so. Hope you all are having a good one, and I will talk at you later. See ya. See, now, now my wife is making fun of me because I'm talking to myself out here. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. See, I'm in the middle of a thing. There's this whole thing going on. She likes the comments too. So yeah, comment down below. Can't wait to see more comments. See y'all later. <laughs> what was that? It's still up there somewhere. Find it, baby.